Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and today we'll be taking a look at the brand new song from Mama Moo's Moonbill with Touching and Moving. Been a while since she's had a solo song. Mostly we've had a couple, two, maybe three songs from Mama Moo Plus, which is her, her and Solar. I think maybe the last solo song was Cheese in the Trap. That's, that's the name that rings a bell the most recent for me. I might be missing out, but... That's the one that stands out. Just, it's just nice to say. She's in the trap. So she's back with Touching and Moving. Uh, she did do a song pre-release last week. I was going to do a video on it. And as soon as I started recording, it was a vertical video, which doesn't really look good for you guys. So I, I missed that. So I don't know what I'm in for. She looks cute. So let's go. See where she is now. Oh, better check. What is this? 480p. Mm. Oh. Kind of Michael Jackson poppy. Bit of Motown funk. Yeah. Bit disco y. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's his groove. I wasn't expecting this. As someone who wasn't confident in the singing not so long ago. Don't know why. She always sounds so good. Almost getting a little bit of Michael Jackson vocal, huh? This is completely different to what I was expecting from her. Full disco now. Vocally, so clean and clear. I like it. That background reminds me of like a, a hostess bar from Like a Dragon Games. If anyone's played them. Oh. Oh, those are the expensive pods out there. Oh, okay. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Well, that was different. It was different to what I was expecting. Not that she's got a set sound to her. I think most of her songs like the first one i remember and which might have been actually a, a first solo was eclipse and that's still a super strong song whenever that comes on my shuffle playlist it's like oh i remember that very distinctly i've done a video for that i'll i'll try and if i remember link it at the end but no such a cool 
I want to say modern sound, but it, it feels like this sound, of, this kind of Motown, funky pop is making a comeback. I've heard quite a couple of K-pop songs that are influenced by that now, which is fine with me. You know, I I grew up listening to Michael Jackson. I still enjoy him. Um, that kind of 90s style sound. It's fine. It's fine. Again, looks great. I don't know what it is, but over the past year or two, I've just found myself finding Umbiel more and more cuter. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because she's embracing the more her feminine side and not going for the androgynous look, which did, didn't do nout for me. But yeah, looks great. Sounds great. Cool, funky song. Not what I was expecting in any way. But yeah, always good to have any of the girls of Mamamoo back, whether it's solo, whether it's all together, whether it's Mamamoo Plus or anything in between. Also, happy birthday, Sarah. So yes, thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts below. Catch you next video.